Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. It's Warren here. It's so lovely to have you with me today. I trust that you're having a wonderful day today in Jesus. I want to share with you briefly a scholarly debate that's out there that's entitled New Perspective on Paul. They're calling it a New Perspective on Paul. Did you even know there was a new perspective on Paul? Well, I must admit I didn't until I went through some of the reviews of Bibles and study Bibles on YouTube and I came across the discussion. Let's ask the question that's been asked out there. What do you think Paul thought the problem is that Jesus solved for us? Well, the old perspective says that the problem is, is that we're all guilty before a holy judge and that we're going to hell. And so Jesus solved that problem. The new perspective would say that may be true or that may be false. But the main thing that Paul thought Jesus solved for us was that this covenant community called Israel was supposed to start redeeming creation from the inside out, bringing the blessings of Eden to the whole world, but that the covenant community got trapped within boundary markers, circumcision, Sabbath, ethnically Jewish. And then they also didn't keep any of the rules. And so the main thing that Jesus needs to do is to rejuvenate the covenant community and have it spread throughout the whole world. And that's what the Bible is all about, according to the new perspective. So there's really kind of four positions here. One of them is to just be old perspective and say the problem is individuals going to hell on Judgment Day. And the other thing is not really there. On the other end of the spectrum would be to be just new perspective, to say the only problem is horizontal, historical, getting the covenant community throughout the world. And then there are two middle perspectives. And these two middle perspectives Say those are both true, fine, but which foot is forward? There's an A plot and there's a B plot. Now, looking at the middle perspectives, some would say the A plot is individuals getting their sins forgiven and the B plot is the spreading of the covenant community. And then other people would say, no, wait a moment, that's not true. The A plot is that Abrahamic covenant community being restored and spreading and the B plot is that they also those people need to have their sins forgiven now the old perspective is of course associated with people such as Martin Luther and John Calvin and the Reformation while the new perspective now people date it differently but it probably started with a guy by the name of Christoph Stendel in 1963. The new perspective basically says we took Luther's understanding that you are saved by faith alone and we read it on to Paul. When really, in fact, Luther was just wrestling with his own conscience. They would say that's fine, but it's not the main story in Paul. And so this guy, Stendhal, got people to think that maybe we've been reading Luther onto Paul. And then this started a new perspective interpretation. Well-known scholars such as N.T. Wright, James Dunn, E.P. Saunders especially, plus tons of lesser-known scholars are in this camp. But in reality, friends, there is no such thing as a new perspective, but rather new perspectives. This is because they all kind of disagree with each other about small issues, such just as in the old perspective, where there's really no such thing as only an old perspective. Luther and Calvin 
disagreed on certain things. But in general, is the Bible about personal justification or is the Bible about a kingdom and a covenant spreading? These are the two general camps. So that's it, friends. The new perspective on Paul. Maybe you want to read up and study a little bit more about it. But thanks so much for joining me today on this YouTube channel. Love you lots. God bless.